Peace, family. It's your brother, Mark Lamont Hill. We are here on the Mark Lamont Hill official YouTube channel. We're talking about this news that just hit the internet with Most Def, now known as Yasin Bey, making some controversial comments about Drake. We're going to check it out. But real quick, tell me where you're writing in from. Drop your location, drop your city, your state, your country. We want to know where you're writing in from because we got people from all over the world here on the MLH channel. So make sure you drop your name, drop your location, uh, and hit the like button if you're feeling me. Shout out to my brother, Otis Moss. So good to see you, my brother, up in here. You in Chicago. I think I'm going to be in Chicago tomorrow over at St. Sabina. I see Cole Z, Philip Blair, Full Till Boogie, Dominique Simmons, figuratively yours, Tracy Green, Kushla Turn from Barbados, Ross Butch Sheila from Paris, Chanel G, who's MLH fam here from Columbus, Jeffrey Bowers, MLH family too from Wilmington, Delaware, and so many more. All right, y'all. So I was minding my own business on the internet today. Just minding my own business on social media. And I watched this interview with Most Def. Excuse me, Yasin Bey, formerly known as Most Def. One of the greatest MCs of all time. One of the greatest rap duos of all time. Uh, Black Star. Uh, one of the greatest albums of all time. It's certainly a hip-hop expert. And the interviewer asked him about Drake. And it seems from the interview that they were talking about what was hip hop and what was it, what constituted hip hop. And she asked a very simple question. Is Drake hip hop? Here's what Yasin Bey said. Is Drake hip hop? Why are you doing this to me? Drake is pop <laughs> to me. In the sense that if I was in Target in Houston and I heard a Drake song, feels like a lot of his music is compatible with shopping. shopping. <laughs> Commercial music. Or as or it's Commercial you know music. shopping with an edge in certain instances. Fair. I like Drake's music, but I understand exactly what you're saying. Of course. I mean, it's, I, I, I it's get commercial, it. entertaining, fun, it's, good, it's, formulaic music. It's likable. Likable music, yeah. Um, but is it, you know, I'm going to leave you alone. We're going to move, we're going to move on. Um, <laughs> so many, so many products. So many so, skews. So many skews. <laughs> Look at all these skews. Oh, so many products. So much merchandising. So oh, many barcodes. I love this mall. <laughs> Look at this place. I mean, look at this place. They have everything. Everything's here. <laughs> They have everything here. Oh, this is great. This is a new Drake. You hear it? It's great. Okay. What happens when this thing collapses? What happens when the columns start buckling? Are we not in some early stage of that at this present hour? Are we seeing like the collapse of the empire? Buying and selling. Where's the message that I can use? Right. You know, what's in it for your audience apart from, like, banging the pom-poms? Woo! So let me say a couple things. First, that is a rare level of candor from an artist. A rare level of candor from an artist artist so rarely do people give any honest answers anymore people are always so politically correct they always uh are careful not to say what they actually think they don't want to ruffle any feathers they don't want to offend anybody especially not the people in power not the power brokers the drakes of the world and so i appreciate him uh just speaking the truth his truth whatever whether you agree with it or not Ain't the point. I, sp I I appreciate an actual honest answer. So now let's let's think about what he actually says. Because it's something else. He asked, he was asked, is Drake um hip hop? And Yasin Bey, most def said he's pop music. 
That feels indisputable to me. That feels indisputable to me. Drake is absolutely 100, 1,000% pop music. A song like um, In My Feelings is pop music. No doubt about it. When you turn to um, uh, Top 100 Radio, American Bandstand level radio, you're going to hear Drake. Now, being pop music in 2023 is different than being pop music 50 years ago. Because it was a time when hip hop wasn't pop music. Hip hop was on the margins. But now hip hop is American music. Hip hop is at the center of American pop culture. So being pop music doesn't necessarily mean you're not good music. It doesn't necessarily mean you're not hip hop music. We got to be honest about that. Because in my era, I'm going back, but in my era, pop, if you were rapping, you were pop music, people were talking about stuff like MC Hammer. They were talking about people who, who, by the way, I love and respect. But people were saying, you know, you've you've crossed over so much that we don't welcome you into the fold. That's not what's happening now. And, uh, you know, over time, from Run DMC to N.W.A. to Snoop Dogg to I'm going to fast forward a little bit to Lauryn Hill to Jay Z, we've seen people manage to be both popular artists who are on the pop charts and also make high quality hip hop. The difference is being on the pop chart or having a song that is consumed as pop. Take Jay-Z Hard Knock Life in, in, back in 98, right? The song itself with the Annie sample, his, what his biggest hit, right? Or take 50 Cent in the club, right? Those are songs that had pop appeal. They connected. That's different. That's different than making a song that at the musical level doesn't have the DNA of hip hop, doesn't have the bones of hip hop, doesn't have the structure of hip hop. That's something different. And so being pop music or being on the pop charts or having pop appeal isn't inherently a problem, just to be clear. The problem is if the music you're making isn't substantive hip hop, people in the People in the uh, in the comments are saying stuff like this. <laughs> Omega quote and Q tip rap is not popping. If you call it that, then stop. Shout out to, to, to Q tip and thank you for that, Omega. Um, somebody said, I love Drake, but so do five year olds. I mean, there's something to that. There's something to that that we got to take seriously, right? Somebody said, Vanilla ice cream. It's vanilla ice cream idea, but it's also vanilla ice to some people, like literally vanilla ice. Again, somebody who made music in the hip hop paradigm or the rap paradigm, but wasn't pop music. I mean, but wasn't hip hop to people. It was just pop music that was that that was that was um, being appropriated. Right. So I hear and feel all of that. I get it. 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 So when most is saying this, he's making a pretty big claim here. He's not just saying Drake is making popular music. He's saying Drake is making music that is not hip hop, which was the fundamental question. Is Drake hip hop? It's pop music. Then he gives us some context, right? And he was reluctant. He wasn't trying to start no shit, right? He wasn't trying to go for nobody neck. He wasn't trying to diss Drake. He just gave an honest answer to a challenging question. He was at, he said, I was in the mall at Target. Y'all heard it. I was in the mall. I was at Target and I heard Drake's music. He said Drake's music is uh, good for shopping. And then he made a joke, but also an interesting uh, addendum. He said shopping with the edge. What does that mean? It means that Drake's music is not grounded in or rooted in hip hop culture. That's what he's saying. He's saying that it is bubblegum pop music that is being consumed and commercialized and marketized and sold just like the products in Target. It's shopping music. <laughs> shopping with an edge, he said. I'm with you. Now, some people will say, well, that's just Drake being successful. You can't get mad at Drake for being successful. All he did was cross over. All he did was get a bigger audience. If I make 
dope hip hop music and then a lot of people start to like it that doesn't make it not hip hop anymore because it's popular you can't literally get mad at somebody for making music that's popular is my music better if nobody hears it is my music better if only 10 people come to my show is my music better if i don't get awards if, if is my music better if i don't go diamond and platinum and all that that's an argument right i get that and i would answer no of course not 50 cent is hip hop he didn't stop being hip hop when he went diamond Jay Z's hip hop. He didn't stop being hip hop because of the kind of music he made. I mean, because of the kind of success he had making that music. Lauren Hill was hip hop. She didn't stop being hip hop because she sold all those records. So I'm not going to dismiss someone as non hip hop simply because, um, simply because they're successful. And I'm not going to diss them simply because white people like them. Because if you sell any number of records in the United States, back in the days where people were going gold and platinum all the time, anything past 300,000 was white people. So all them people from, from the locks, D-Block, you know, shout out to them, all of, all of Bad Boy, all of the Rockefeller, that was white people buying that stuff once you sold more than 300,000, 400,000, right? So it's not about white people. There's something else about Drake's music. In the fundamental DNA of Drake's music that people feel is at odds with hip hop. And that thing that's not in Drake's music is also the thing that makes it popular to white people. It's also the thing that makes it appealable to Target, Walmart, J.C. Penney commercials, whatever. And it's also the thing that makes people like Eminem interesting and complicated. So sometimes it's challenging to know how to describe, how to articulate what makes a thing a thing, but you know it when you hear it. I heard Dr. Umar last week explaining why Eminem isn't one of the greatest rappers of all time. And I didn't disagree with Umar. Um, I don't think it's just because he's white, like as such, like I don't think that it's a DNA issue that prevents him from doing it. But I think there's a way that Eminem approaches the culture, our culture as an outsider who comes into it and becomes an insider and a practitioner of hip hop, that he gets it by the letter, right? He, he's paying by the numbers, but hip hop is more than just being able to rap. Eminem has mastered the craft of rapping. He is a rapidy rap motherfucker. Eminem can rap his ass off. Very few people can rap like Eminem. I'm talking about rapidy, 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 rapidy. rapidy. But, but that's different. That's different than having soul. You can rhyme on beat and still not be in the pocket. And Eminem didn't rhyme on beat early in his career, but neither did Kanye. Eminem. And I'm gonna get back to, I'm gonna circle this back to Drake. Eminem, Eminem does not operate outside the context of hip hop. He makes hip hop music. He makes great music, right? Particularly early on, his mixtapes, all that kind of stuff. But as he makes more and more music and gets bigger and bigger, you can even hear this, right? He's branching out into more pop spaces. He's, exper he's experimenting with different sounds. But even at his core, there's a thing he doesn't have. There's a thing he doesn't do. It's, it's like sometimes when I watch uh, Asian hip hop artists, Asian b-boys overseas, it's like, oh, they got the technical dimensions of break dancing down, but there's something that's not there. I hear it with jazz artists, I hear it with Elvis Presley, there's something that's not there. There's just something that's not quite there. Um, now you put Eminem in the battle context, he's got that down, right? But I'm talking about boom bap. I'm talking about rhythms and sounds now. 
I'm talking about being in the pocket. And it's not just about having superior rap skills, because sometimes some of the most beautiful and perfect rap songs are not those that are the most complicated and rapidly rap. And even rappers who have that capacity, their best music might not be that thing. Juicy is, is one of the greatest anthems in hip hop history. It's not Biggie's most dominant lyrical performance. It's not his most impressive, complex lyrical performance, but it works. When you listen to Bonita Applebaum, Q-Tip, Q-Tip can rap his face off. But what he does in those songs, it, it, it demonstrates a kind of understanding of soul and minimalism and style. Give me one second. And, and so there's a thing about it that doesn't work. And that's why Eminem appeals to white folk, not just because he has white angst and he has a white face and people love to see themselves on TV, but because his music is legible to them in a different kind of way. Now let's go back to Drake. Drake, when you listen to early Drake, especially, right? When, when I'm talking about back when he's doing, um, when, he, when he's doing songs with, with backpack rappers and when he's just trying to get on some tracks, right? Um, and he's trying to demonstrate his ability. The boy can rap. Drake can rap his ass off. And Drake isn't Eminem. Let me be very clear about that. I'm not saying Drake is Eminem. Drake has more soul than Eminem. He's more embedded in the hip hop context than Eminem. You know what I mean? But there's still something about Drake's music that doesn't feel deeply embedded in hip hop. And it's not because it's popular. It's not because it's popular. It's not because lots of people like it. Again, lots of hip hop songs that started in the streets made it onto Madison Avenue, made it into big movies. That's not uncommon. I mean, shit, you can listen to Dreams and Nightmares by Meek Mill at the Super Bowl. You can listen to, you, you see what I'm saying? But it, it started in the mud. But Drake's music is missing something. And, 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 and most spoke to it in a couple ways, right? Is Drake hip hop? First thing he said was, I'm gonna I'm a move up. The first thing he said was this. this is... Fair, I like Drake's music, but I understand exactly what you're saying. Of course, I mean, it's, I, I, I it's get It's commercial, it. entertaining, fun, it's, good, it's, formulaic music. It's likable. Likable music, yeah. It's likable. Um, but is it, you know, I'm gonna leave you alone. We're gonna move, we're gonna move on. Um, <laughs> He said it's likable, right? Part of what makes hip hop hip hop, obviously all music should be likable, right? But is that, is that, um, it's uncontroversial, right? It's likable, it's un, Hip hop is supposed to do something to you. It's supposed to inspire something. It's supposed to be challenging to you. It's supposed to have critique to it. He's saying it's it's likable. It's 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 vanilla ice cream. It's everybody likes it. Ooh, so many so many products. So many so, skews. So many skews. <laughs> he's he's joking. Right? He's like this music complements a shopping a commercial shopping experience. It's just Madison Avenue emptiness. When you walk through Target or, or any other shopping mall 20 years ago, 30 years ago, you'd hear pop music, you'd hear elevator music, you'd hear random music that doesn't, that, that doesn't distract you from the practice of shopping, right? Because the music is almost a, 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 an, an ally to the corporation. Drake's music is the same way. You can just listen to, I don't want to sing it because I might we might get sued or something, but I can listen to In My Feelings, you know, Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? You know what I mean? And it's catchy and it makes white people feel edgy and it makes white people feel like they've been in the hood and it makes them feel like they're, they, 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 they down. All of that. But you can still do your Labor Day sale at Target. There's nothing to it that is controversial. There's nothing about it that's unlikable. <laughs> Look at all these skews. Oh, so many. Look at this place. They have new Drake. You hear it? It's great. Then he says something else. Listen to this again. Right, we played it before. I want you to hear it again. Listen to this. Okay. This is the point. 
What happens when this thing collapses? What happens when the columns start buckling? Are we not in some early stage of that at this present hour? Are we seeing like the collapse of the empire? Buying and selling, where's the message that I can use? Right. You know, what's in it for your audience apart from like banging the pom pom? He's saying that hip hop is supposed to be political. It's supposed to have a political critique and analysis. He's saying we're living maybe in the last stages of empire. The world is changing, things are collapsing and Drake doesn't have shit to say about it. There's no analysis of police brutality. There's no analysis of war. There's no analysis of violence. There's no analysis of inequality. He's saying Drake ain't saying shit, but he's also, I'm gonna take it deeper. Now I'm gonna say something he didn't say, but I think it's worth saying and may smile thank you for the question and that generous donation you said what is your definition of substantive that's a fair question substantive doesn't have to mean political it doesn't mean you got to be talking about war or violence even though that's interesting you don't have to be talking about politics or or, or being or, or explicitly um sort of drawing from books and shit like you don't have to do any of that you can just be creative and interesting you can just have an a thoughtful analysis of, of, of love. You can have a, 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 a radical critique of life, of joy, of blackness, of something. And Drake just is never saying anything. And when he does say something, it's usually just about misogyny. It's usually just about some woman who stole his heart or some, or it used to be. Now it's about women who he don't give a damn about. It's empty. Substantive can be musically substantive. It can be politically substantive. It can be culturally substantive. There's not one way to be substantive. I'm not saying that it should be a one size fits all model. Everybody shouldn't rap like most. Y'all seen. Everybody shouldn't be um, doing what he does. But with Drake, there's none of that. With Drake, there's just none of that. There's none of it. Now, some of y'all gonna say most just hating. Y'all seen Bay just hating. Y'all gotta get over that shit, man. There's a lot of old heads that hate. There's a lot of rappers that are out of work that's mad at the rappers that's working. There's a lot of people who can't do a show that's mad at rappers that can do a show. That's true. I'm not dismissing any of that. But that ain't y'all seen Bay. Y'all seen Bay is beloved around the world. I just went and saw him live. Uh, this summer, me and my wife went to see him and Erica Badu. They killed it. Yasin Bey ain't lost a step. He's a brilliant artist. He's extraordinarily talented. And he's not jealous. He's making a critique as a, as, a, as a practitioner of the art, as a defender of the culture, as a veteran. He's saying, yo, that ain't hip hop. Now, he's not saying Drake shouldn't do it. I'm not saying Drake shouldn't do it. Drake has a right to make that music. Drake has a right to make all the music he wants. He has a right to produce music that he wants, to create music that he wants. If other people are writing it, great. If he's writing it, great. Doesn't matter. He can do whatever he wants. Just make your music, Drake. Ain't nobody mad at that. But let's be clear that it is not hip-hop. It is not culturally hip-hop. It's pop music that people in the hip-hop context like. And that's cool. I like Drake's songs. Let me tell you something. Let me be very clear. When Drake spits bars, I like them. When he sings, I want to cut my own face. But when Drake is spitting bars, great. When Drake is doing a feature, all bets are off. Drake is probably going to have the best verse on the on, on the on on the on the on the cut. Why? Because he's an excellent rapper. Are there people with better wordplay and a little more lyrical dexterity? People like J. Cole, sure. Are there people who are much smarter and deeper? In their analysis, like Andre 3000 and Jay-Z, sure. Are there better storytellers? Like Nas, of course. Are there people with more lyrical verbal mastery like Pharrell Monch or Eminem or Kendrick? No doubt. But Drake is an elite MC when he wants to rap. This isn't about his ability to rap. It's saying that, that what he's doing, the music he's making, the art that he's producing, while it makes monster hits, it makes a bunch of number ones. It, al it will allow him to pass Michael Jackson for number ones. There's a reason why his competitor is Michael Jackson, who's the king of what? Pop. Because he's making pop music. So that's fine. 
good for him. He'll continue to make it. Y'all will continue to buy it. Shit, I might buy some of it. But that don't make it hip hop. And that's what most deaf is saying. So yes, most deaf is right. Most deaf ain't hating. It is what it is. And y'all got to take that. I know the Drake stand's going to be mad. I know they're going to say I'm talking shit, that I'm hating, blah, 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 blah. I'm not a rapper. I'm old. I don't care. I'm just telling you my opinion as somebody who's been listening to hip hop, critiquing hip hop, uh, reviewing hip hop for many decades now. That's just my take. Um, and I know some of y'all feel different. Russell Shannon writes in and says, I, I, Drake's catalog is crazy. I understand most definitely. I'm a fan of most and Drake, but I think Drake needs to have more message that move the culture. I help the culture even more. Right. That's the point. Drake's catalog is crazy. He's got amazing songs. Drake does not have a classic album, though. I know some of y'all are going to say Take Care is. I know I, I get it. There's a lot of people who have feelings about Drake's albums. But to me, if Drake's going to be in the elite the elite category? Does he have a blueprint? Does he have a black album? Does he have, does he have a get rich or die trying? Does he have a good kid, Mad City? Does he have Neil Maddox? Is he ready to die? Does he have a miseducation? I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. I just don't see it. This catalog is crazy, though. Lots of singles, lots of features. He's a bad boy. He's a bad boy. Drake is a bad boy. But a whole bunch of that shit ain't hip-hop. <laughs> Tootsie Slide enough said, exactly! And you know why? And that's the thing, when he makes songs like Tootsie Slide, he's not trying to make hip-hop. He's making TikTok songs. He's saying, I know what will get people on TikTok to do a dance. I know what will get me clicks. I know what will get me eyeballs. I know what will make me build this empire. And again, ain't nothing wrong with that. Do your thing. Great. Great. Do your thing. I ain't mad at it. But don't call it hip hop. It's hip hop adjacent. It's in the hip hop context. But it ain't hip hop. It just ain't. Anyway, y'all, hit the like button if you feel me. Leave your comments. We can come back and have more conversations about that later if y'all want to. Uh, hit the subscribe button if this is your first time here on the channel. We do all kinds of stuff from politics to pop culture. Hit that like button and let me know. Also, y'all know this is independent media. I'm building here a platform. So if you want to drop a donation in there, hit MLHTV on Cash App. Drop your, uh, your, your, your donation if you're so inclined. You can also hit the join button and become part of the Mark Lamont Hill official YouTube channel. And help us build the infrastructure to have more podcasts, more content, a wider range of topics, and much, much more. It's up to y'all. I appreciate y'all either way. If nothing else, just hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and continue to grow with us here on the channel. I appreciate y'all, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.